Hey everyone, today we're doing another species spotlight on one of my favorite snake species. I'm so glad that I finally got to have one again, and that is the Dumeril's boa. So I used to have a couple of these a while ago, but circumstances being, plus some other, uh, you know, virus issues and stuff, I never was, I never was able to keep them. Um, life got in the way, they had to find better homes just because I financially, I wasn't really able to hold on to them. Didn't have nearly as many snakes as I do now, I'm in a much better position. So I was finally able to get this male Dumeril's boa again. So excited, I love these guys to death. These things are amazing, amazing snakes. So the Dumeril's boa, they're a ground boa found in Madagascar. So kind of the difference between a ground boa and like the boa constrictors, which these guys are not related to, the, to those boa constrictors at all. They're found in Central and South America. These guys are found in Madagascar. They are boas, so they're boa day, but they're not boa constrictors. Then the difference, the main difference is, which I got a little taken away from that, is that the boa constrictors are all fairly arboreal. These guys will climb, but for the most part, they spend all of their time on the ground buried in leaf litter, which is why they have this amazing pattern, which is meant to break up their body in, the, in camouflage in leaf litter and wait and hide and ambush for prey to come along. These guys are amazing animals. They don't get super, super huge, like into like the 10, 11 foot range, like anecdotally, like the boa constrictors can, like the true red tails. You, they normally get around six, seven feet, like a monster female might get eight. Um, I've never seen one that big. I've seen one about seven, just about, and she was a big old girl. Um, but these guys are amazing, amazing little animals. I keep saying little, they're actually a nice, big, heavy body snake. They're pretty chunky. They're kind of like the, like the anacondas or the blood boas. They're not nearly as chunky, but they don't get as long. They're kind of big, fat sausages, and they have a really nice disposition. I've worked with several in the past. I've interacted with other ones. I've never had one that was defensive, or they still have a really good food response, but they're always really good at kind of distinguishing that, even with feeding in or out of the cage or whatever else that is. The only thing about these guys is they have enormous teeth. Like, not like a rough scale python or an emerald tree boa, but these guys have big, big teeth for a boa constrictor, like, in, of comparable size. And they also have a lot more force behind that bite, too. So it's not really something that you really want to mess with too, too much. But like I said, these guys have an amazing disposition. This guy is, is great. He's still technically in quarantine right now. So I'm trying to limit my interactions with him just because you don't want to have to worry about the spread of stuff like that. But I just love this guy so, so much. And it's been really hard for me to stay away from him just because I miss these guys so much. They are amazing, super well handleable, super, uh, you know, just super docile, personable little snakes as far as a snake can be personable. You know, they are still a little bit arboreal. So if you only have a couple of these and you can give them a large six, seven, eight foot long cage, give them a platform, give them some big branches. They will climb on them. They will still use them. You know, Madagascar is a tropical island, so make sure you're keeping their humidity up. Give them some good substrate, something maybe for them to burrow into. Even when they're larger, they do feel comfortable doing that. Still the human hide, still the big water bowl. All of that good jazz that we've all know what we need to do for the tropical snakes. Anyway, I'm done with this one, you guys. I honestly cannot tell you how happy I am that I have another Dumeril's bow again. I think they're amazing. I think these guys are really starting to come back in vogue. Let me know what your guys' favorite type of boa is. If you guys love the bo the, the Dumeril's boa, if you prefer the boa constrictors, let me down below. We all know I'm a boa guy. I love them to death. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you can, and I'll check you next time.